Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at removing braces from your subject's teeth. Very, very important. A lot of people request that you remove braces. Uh, and really, removing braces can be pretty difficult, but one of the things you just want to watch for is you want to, you know, have some teeth. You want to be able to see the teeth, actually, I should say. Uh, you know, there are some angles and things where, you know, all you can see is metal. And doing that is going to be virtually impossible without a boatload of both time and talent. More importantly, time, uh, you know, you're going to basically be redrawing an entire set of teeth, It's you know, and if it looks good, which is probably not likely, it's going to just take a huge amount of time. So you want to have an image where you can see a lot of the teeth and you have areas you can sample from and really work with. So with that in mind, let's get started retouching uh, this photo and removing these braces. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and duplicate the layer. So just make sure you have the layer selected and hit Command or Control J. It's going to duplicate that layer. That way now we're just working on our, uh, you know, fresh layer. If we mess anything up, voila, we can go back to our, our original layer. Uh, now, sometimes if it's really a tough set of teeth or a tough set of braces, I will actually, you know, do one tooth, then duplicate the layer, and do the next tooth, and duplicate the layer. That way you almost create this stack of history states that you can just always jump back to, and, you know, it's always saved right there in your layers panel. Uh, but in this case, I think we'll be able to get away with doing it all in one layer. So basically, when I'm getting rid of braces, I like to do four main things before I actually go and just touch up the teeth and like fine tune them with you know, any kind of dodging and burning, anything like that that I want to do to sort of touch them up and make them look a little more realistic. Uh, the number one thing is to use the patch tool and do a little patching. Number two, cloning. Number three is a little smudging. And number four is a little sharpening. So let's take a look at what we need to do first, and that is come over here to the healing brush and grab the patch tool. All right, now with the patch tool, we have it We have it up here set to source. And basically what I'm going to do is hit Z to grab my zoom tool, zoom in on this set of teeth. And what we're going to do, again, making sure we're working on our new layer, grab the patch tool, and I'm going to work on this big tooth first. I'm going to create sort of a rather tight selection around this first brace. And I'm just going to drag it up here to like her cheek right above her lip and drop there. And you can, it's going to give me some of that sort of skin texture on the tooth, which isn't super duper realistic, but, you know, it gives an added bit of realism, much more realistic than uh, if we were just to clone over and make it one solid color and all smooth and everything like that. So command or control D to uh, deselect. And what we're going to do now is grab the clone stamp tool. And we're going to begin cloning this, these uh, lines away or the, the little attachment piece, whatever it is. I'm not a dentist. So, I'm just going to paint that away. All right, great. Now that we've done that, it's time to use the smudge tool and blend this together. Smudge tool is right here. And I'm going to set the mode to lighten and the strength to right around 30. Uh, you can turn finger painting on if you want. It's not a requirement, but you can do it. All right, I'm just going to begin smudging back and forth in an attempt to blend all of this color on this tooth together and make it look like one solid tooth again. All right, I'm going to back out and see what that looks like. All right, doesn't look too bad. Looks a little strange just having one blank tooth amidst all the braces, so don't let yourself get all, you know, down in the dumps and upset that it looks terrible because, again, we have all these other braces, and it's not going to look anywhere near realistic until they're all gone. And even then, remember, people have braces for a reason, so that set of teeth might not look all that great. Uh, next thing we want to do after smudging is sharpening. So I'm going to grab this sharpen tool and I'm going to set the mode to lighten and the strength to right around 50%, maybe a little less than 50%. Let's try 30% and just brush over this tooth once, maybe a little more. There we go. And it's just, it's, you're not adding that much sharpening. You don't want to start seeing any kind of other colors happening in there. Just a little bit. It adds a little bit of grain to the tooth, really makes it start to look realistic. All right, great. So we've gotten one tooth done. And after you know doing the patching, cloning, smudging, and sharpening, at this point, that's when you would break out your dodge tool or your burn tool. Let's grab the dodge tool. Obviously, I'm going to downsize that brush quite a bit. Uh, that's good, about eight pixels. Range, midtones, exposure. I, I always hang around 20 usually with the dodge and burn tools, and uh, you know we can just dodge the bottom of this tooth a little bit, make it blend in a little bit more. Uh, there we go, just like so. Uh, just touch it up a little bit. All right, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and grab the patch tool again and check out this, what's going to be a little bit more of a difficult tooth. So we're going to grab what we can. Whoop, make sure you grab something. Grab what we can. I'm going to add a little bit to my selection here, holding down shift. And then I'm just going to drag up to the cheek again. And choose a lighter portion of the cheek if you can, or skin around the mouth. Um, something that's decently light, not too, too dark. So that's a little bit too dark. I'm going to move away a little bit and drag up to this sort of highlight here on her cheek. 
Alright, still that's pretty dark. Alright, but you can see the tooth looks pretty bad. But the reason we got rid of the bit of brace is really so we can copy color now from this tooth. Once you get one tooth done, you can really work everything from that tooth. Grab that clone stamp tool, and I'm actually going to make it a little bit bigger. You know, bump it up to maybe eh, eight's a little large. Let's try let's manually enter five since I can't seem to get it with the slider. Alright, now what I'm going to do is just select right over here on this tooth, and I'm just going to begin painting over here on this tooth. All right, and we, we know the shape of the tooth based on, you know, the edges of the tooth. So we're going to slide over into here, grab that stuff. Oh, a little too low there. And there we go. Next, uh, we grab the smudge tool as we did before. And we're going to kind of downsize the smudge tool a little bit as the teeth get smaller. And just smudge this whole thing together. Again, we just have it set to light, and we don't want to make the teeth really dark. That's going to make them look pretty bad. And now if you look, this actually back side of the tooth should start to get a little darker. So let's real quick just grab the sharpen tool, brush over with sharpen a little bit. And then we're going to grab the burn tool. Again, downsize that burn tool a bit. And my exposure, I'm going to set it around 15 to 20 range midtones. I'm just going to burn the back edge of that tooth just to make it really look like, you know, it's basically fading off back into, you know, the darkness back there. All right, now one other thing you're going to notice is there's a bit of that metal uh, wire right there between the two teeth. The way we want to get rid of that is actually pretty simple. We're just going to use the clone stamp tool. I'm going to downsize the brush size to about two. And what I'm going to do is just select right here at this sort of dark pinkish yellowish stuff uh, between the teeth. Uh, and I'm just going to sort of paint it away nice and gently like that. And then what I'm also going to do is just clone stamp or s sample somewhere out on the tooth and just add a little bit to the side of this tooth and also add a little bit to the side of this tooth. And then just grab that smudge tool again, smudge it right in. Oh, that, uh, that's actually the burn tool. We want to use the smudge tool. This would be the smudge tool. Downsize the diameter to about five for this and uh, just smudge along the edge there to kind of mix it in nicely. All right, now I'm going to zoom out, and it really does not look good having this highlight on that edge of the tooth. So we're going to zoom back in on this. And what I'm going to do is I would either just grab the healing brush and source a set to sampled, sample on this tooth, and let's try to cover it up with the healing brush. And that didn't quite work right there. Let's try this again. That doesn't look too, too bad. We can now smudge that in, and that'll probably look, whoops, smudge. That'll probably look a lot better. Like so. Again, touch it up with the sharpen tool, and uh, let's zoom out and see what it looks like. All right, and that looks a whole lot better. So you can see removing braces takes a little bit of time, takes a little bit of, uh, you know, finesse. You got to, you know, work with these smaller teeth. Again, you want to make sure you keep the edges of the small teeth intact so you can view them all. Because if you can't, you're not even going to be able to clone from another tooth. And as you clear more and more teeth, it just becomes easier and easier and easier. Then to get these braces over here, you're going to have to, you know, take into account that, you know, basically the way your teeth wrap around, this is actually just black you're cloning into there. And, you know, just make sure you make, get that t tooth back there included. And as you get t into the back of the mouth back here, it's a good idea to use the burn tool and just brush over the teeth you clone a little bit. Matter of fact, speaking of the burn tool, I just want to hit that with the burn tool a little bit right there. Uh, it's a good idea to just run over the back side of some of these teeth with the burn tool uh, to make sure that you are, you know, simulating that shadowing as you get closer back into the mouth. And the same thing with these braces underneath here. This is actually going to be pretty easy as long as you make sure you shade it in the proper way uh, because then, you know, it's just dark under there, essentially. It's not totally pitch black, but it's pretty dark. So that's a way that I like to remove braces. And uh, we removed two of them there. And you can see when it's totally done, that's what I got, just like that. And that's how I do it. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sadly, I wasn't going to you know, remove the whole set of braces. That would be pretty tedious. Uh, if you would like to see a video, however, where I go through removing a whole set of braces, uh, you know, let me know, write me an email, leave a comment, something like that, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll certainly do one. But for now, that is how I remove braces from people that I photograph. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Uh, go check out the site. That's www.tutbid.com. Thanks for watching.